I chose the industrial design program because it allowed myself to creatively express uh, my artistic talent and design aesthetic. And I chose RIT because when I was in high school, I applied for the top five schools in the country for industrial design program. RIT was placed in the top three. So when I finally started to go into actually some of these schools that I applied to, RIT had the most diversity in terms of creativity and as well as just like overall campus life. The most rewarding part of being an industrial design student is having made something and watching people ask you how you, how, like how you went about making that product, uh, where can they buy one. That's usually one of my favorite questions is usually, how can I buy this product of mine? Uh, I always get a little happy when it happens just because you put so much time and effort into making something and watching somebody actually want to pursue and purchasing that product makes me really excited. I would say that you have to be able to present quality work and through practice and practice, you have to show craftsmanship through all of your product. The main type of mediums I prefer to use, probably computer-aided drawing. Uh, I also really like to experiment with wood, so using the wood shop is one of my favorites, uh, and 3D printing. So computer-aided drawing is basically when you take a file online and you three-dimensionally design something on the computer. So you start off with basic sketches and then extrude those forms into 3D reality. And you can then rotate that design 360 degrees to really get an understanding of that product from all angles. I believe that there is a craft element to the industrial design program. Uh, being able to work on a product and show off a prototype, whether it's foam or wood, any medium you really choose to make, you really have to spend a lot of time understanding that medium, being able to work with that material uh, to showcase the best results. Ultimately, the form is really key. When somebody looks at a product and they really want to touch it and grab it and grab, uh, play with it or utilize that product, it's usually because they want to see it, they want to put their hands on it, it's tangible, something that they can actually physically see and hold. Industrial design is a little bit of everything. I kind of think it, some people call it like thumbtacks to airplanes, but I would say that maybe a little bit of everything kind of is involved in it. So anything from like apps to textiles to, you know, things you would hang on the wall, you know, basically everything. The most rewarding part of being an industrial design student is, yeah, being able to see somebody use your stuff and and see it kind of change their life, even if it's, like if it's a toy, that might become somebody's favorite toy for the rest of their life. Or, you know, if it's like a medical piece, that might save somebody's life. It might make it easier to save more people's lives. Or it could just be like something that brings people together and people may never have come together if it weren't for this piece that you've made. You should be good at other mediums of art to be an in industrial design. I think that it's impossible to live in a vacuum that's just industrial design. I and mean, industrial design does touch on everything, but I think it's impossible to be a good industrial designer and only know industrial design. I think that you should be able to, maybe you don't even have to be great at all these other mediums, just like you should be experiencing them. You should be like taking in, even if it's like painting or if it's graphic design or even sometimes if it's you know, something that's totally separate like politics or something. You should just be taking in everything because it influences what you do. So I, the projects that I'm working on now are, for my capstone, I'm focusing on accessibility to sexual health resources for queer people. That's kind of my biggest project at the moment. I'm also, on a totally separate note, working on a playhouse for kids, so not to be confused. Um, <laughs> and then in the future, I'm not totally sure what I'll be working on, but it's definitely gonna be like a physical household project. So 